Okay, we're talking about NCAA upsets. We had two big ones this past week. San Beda lost in overtime, 88 to 87 Perps. against Perpetual Perps. Health. Right after we released our episode in which I gave them the trophy. Oh, so, not an F like, yeah, this is the turn of, we don't have to And the second upset was Letran lost uh, 77 to 60 against the Benil Blazers. So, uh, which team should be more worried about what happened, Jen? Um, I think uh, Letran, because mm. of well, the Beda, they talaga sila. Pero Letran, I, I think they only have Kevin for the mm. Kevin Alas. They just want to be able to and all. And uh, wala na siyang katulong. And against Benil, na hindi naman sobrang last na team. Matatalo kayo ng ganun-ganun. So, I think they should really talk about what's going on like, in their team and mm -hmm. stuff. And, uh, pero, okay yung ako sa perpetual. Ha. I mean, you're okay strong, with that. <laughs> malakas sila. Okay. They're a strong team, especially si Jet Vidal. I mean, she made how many crucial baskets mm -hmm. and stuff. So, pero, hats off kay Basir. The, the three court, half court, court, yeah. court na, over time? na point nine seconds mm -hmm. left. But for me, naman, siguro balik tado I think okay. na hindi masadong upset yung sa Letran because you have a lot of you have a lot of shooters and kasi with Benil no. they're, uh, they're basically oh, all, they're shooters. all shooters, diba? So parang hindi siya masadong malaking upset. Siguro mm. for Letran the bigger picture, they started out a uh, one three, diba? Mm. For a team that made the final four last year, they won medyo, the opening against oh, San Sebastian. Since then, they've lost three in a row. It's unacceptable. But if you take a look at how uh, Benil naman has progressed since last season, mm. pwede mo sabi at this point, siguro pantay na sila because of the improvements that they made. Pero for sure, definitely. Ngayon, nag, I mean, Beda and Benil. Mm -hmm. So, I, for sure, San Beda is gonna bounce back. Oh, You're right, you that. <laughs> Here we go. But um, <laughs> what about the fact that Letrad they played that game? They had no Jam Cortez because he was suspended. He was mm. thrown out the previous game. They had no Raymond Almazan, who's sick. He's missed his second game in a row. Is that a factor? Because Jen said, you know, they have no one else besides Kevin Alas. See mm. si Jam Cortez. Uh, he's one of the scorers para sa Letran. And the uh, malaking kawalan yun sa kanila. Si Almazan naman. He's defense a big guy. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Uh, shot block. 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 Eh, parang si, si Cortez kasi is one of the people down low na marunong siya gumalaw under the mm. basket. So you take him away, you don't have anyone who can properly post up, you don't have anyone who will hustle for points under the rim. And, and so, you know, oh, that makes uh, it harder for Kevin Alas to get his shot. Small ball against small ball. And mm. if you're gonna take like a team that's basically small ball lang talaga okay. against Kevin Alas, eh, mm. syempre may laban talaga yung, be, yung Benil. Eh. Okay. And kung nandun si Jam, uh, pagka sumaksak si Kevin, he can dish off kay Jam mm -hmm. or kay Almazan. I mean, maasahan sila. They, they've been in the league for how many years na in the... So, alam na nila yung pressure and all na pag nakakuha silang bola, hindi silang mamadali and stuff. So, malaking karawalan para sa lip. Well, San Beda also doesn't have Ola Odiogun yet. So, that's that could be one reason why, you know, they were not able to win that game. Mm -hmm. um, he also had the fact that five guys from San Beda fouled out in that game. Basically, in overtime, every time someone touched the ball, foul ka agad, diba? So... Oh, tweet ko na, alala ko. Lahat ng basket sa overtime, foul counted. Yeah. Which is the opposite of what uh, Gabbanal said now. No, no, no blood, no oh, foul. Physical. So, I think that probably... Um, then, I know it's the referees ng episodes. Ah, tama. So. Actually, pero tingnan mo yung last play, yung inbounds ng San Beda. By Art De La Cruz. Nabasa, uh -huh. nabasa. So, you can't just put it all on, on fouling out. Eh. Siguro, naging mm -hmm. complacent, naging lax. Med, baka siguro, napagod na rin. Because you're mm -hmm. coming into you're playing perpetual. Parang, dapat hindi tayo, dapat hindi mabot sa dapat dito. Dapat lang. Eh. Yeah. It shouldn't be this difficult. I should be sitting on the bench eating show at this point. <laughs> Diba? So, all those mental mistakes, the turnovers, this, parang they had their chance, mm -hmm. they, they just couldn't deliver and they just couldn't execute. So, okay, so that was the upset alert. If it happens again, we'll be back and then we'll have to maybe get the trophy pass, back from San Beto. Pass muna, okay? Diba? Parang, sige, um, it's still early, uh -oh. okay. so nothing to worry about just yet. Yeah.